there we go. So uh, this is what I'm going to talk about today. Uh, deconstruction and reuse uh, will be a component of what I speak to, but I'm also uh, going to talk a little bit about some of the foundational elements that inform where we focus and how we uh, operate. Um, and some of the uh, initiatives or focus areas that um, really instigated starting building product ecosystems. Um, we're focused on gypsum and uh, glass recycling and making better concrete or lower carbon concrete uh, that was still very well performing. Um, and so I'll talk a little bit about that and the process that we go through uh, uh, in piloting and uh, standardizing and scaling. So first I'm going to start with uh, some of these foundational elements. So we really look at uh, whole system health when we're working, you know, looking at um, the manufacturing phase and uh, also back into where the materials are being harvested from uh, considerations during the use phase, uh, as well as install of materials. And then, of course, at the end of the useful life of these materials, uh, the reuse potential and um, ideally that's what we prioritize first. And if that can't happen, then how do we look at diverting into recycling? So a lot of this is focused on the, the different communities involved in each of these different stages and phases. And so, like I said, I kind of came at uh, waste uh, from a bit more of a health perspective a number of years ago, really looking at, uh, I was really kind of educated by one of our contractors on a job site um, just to understand a little bit more about uh, the concerns that they had about some of the components in the materials that they were installing. Um, and, you know, for me, it was a little bit of a realization um, that our federal government doesn't oversee, um, you know, different aspects of uh, whole system health that I thought uh, that I kind of took for granted were being reviewed. And so, uh, working from really a, a close look at ingredients all the way through to how do we optimize those systems and really look at um, cycling those materials uh, when they're healthful. So we use some different tools, including health product declarations and environmental product declarations. Uh, if, they're, if they can be third party verified, that's even better. Um, we also um, are you know really looking a lot at embodied carbon um, from the perspective of, uh, you know, purchasing and procurement, but also then uh, to motivate uh, some of the reuse aspects. Um, obviously, uh, wherever we can also make sure that the economics are working, um, that's a big driver as well. So this is a, a, a 